Wow, I just woke up out of a ton of confusion and weirdness. I am literally using YouTube as a server to host the data of my business. This brand new paradigm open source model of a technical business and it's going to be weird and it's not it's not a typical thing. That what just so happened was a lot of people logged on to YouTube uh, subscribe to this channel and then also and I'm I'm skating by with such fine margins for myself at this time that I kind of felt the need to satisfy people uh, and, and have subscribers and stuff. It's not supposed to work like that. By the way, this is how you start a robotics company uh, with basically no money. You start here and between knowledge and the free technology then you can go pretty far and get most of the stuff built out. And then uh, if you want to sell something, you can sell robots. We've already provided the bill of materials. So this is a whole new paradigm. Uh, investors won't believe that this is possible. Neither will pretty much any Americans. Um, and you're using Excel as your accountant. You're using Gmail as your secretary. You're using GitHub for a ton of things and you're multiplying the value. For example, th actions taken by the engineers to produce things that work gets documented far more heavily than ever before because that is the free training. A year of training it takes to take an associate engineer to an engineer all gets documented here so then you're not borrowing. At Toyota, I had a senior engineer that spent a year training me and imagine how much that cost the business and then all the overhead for them well we the internet that we have here at home now is better than the internet they had in the 80s for any engineering firm just between github and youtube you can manage terabytes of data that otherwise in the past companies would have an it team to handle so because I had overflowing value going out to YouTube and this audience arrived, now I'm going to divert some of this audience to pull attention to how this works in our Nigeria lab that's happening right now. Once you're operating, then the most expensive hardwares come in from the tech companies, the big funded companies inside your own country that want to get their technology, their LiDARs and stuff onto your machine and in the hands of students and learners. So why don't I have a, a team, a big team all around me? Because the big companies keep hiring my guys away as soon as they've been trained here for six months and they're extremely valuable. So I figured I'd just train the whole world. 